Joe Brady here again uh, with a piece of musical recording gear again. I've got the Tascam DP006. This is a multi-track recorder and best way to describe it at its core is as a musical sketch pad. Uh, rather than cameras this is going to be strictly audio. So uh, what I need to do first is I need to turn on my audio recorder. And again, yes, I could use my lab mic right into my camera. I've decided again to use the Tascam DR05. So I've got this set ready to go. It is now recording. I am putting it in my lab mic here. And I could just flip the thing over my shoulder and put it in my back pocket so it's out of the way. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so it's just in my back pocket. That'll record my audio. But what I need to do before I go any further is I need to give myself a spike to here. So I've got my clapboard. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This will sync, now allow me to sync the audio and the camera. To the audio that's being recorded on me on this pack so one two three and this is the Tascam dp006 yes if i was more organized i'd actually have that written on here couldn't find my uh washable my washable markers anyway back to the recorder again Tascam dp006 this is a multi-track recorder it does have a little uh, screw receptacle on the back of it for mounting so i'm going to actually put it right on this light stand and this is nice because it'll keep it vibration free and just kind of out of the way. All right, so it's ready to go. I've got it powered on and I'm going to actually do some recording. I want you to hear what it's actually capable of doing. But first, let's take a look at a couple of its other features. It's a battery powered unit. It uses four AA batteries. That'll give you about nine hours of recording time, a little bit less if you're going to use mics that require phantom power. It does have two built-in condenser microphones, which will give you stereo recording. On the back of the unit, there's also two inputs for external microphones, an electric acoustic guitar, or even a synthesizer. In fact, later on today, I'm gonna to plug my bass into it and see how that works. It's designed to be very simple. The thing took me, oh, 15 minutes or so to set it up and start recording. You can record two tracks simultaneously and up to six tracks total. Because of the four tracks, two are stereo and two are mono. Now, for those of you that are into music stuff, you can also bounce tracks. It also records to an SD slash SDHC card up to 32 gigabytes. For you guitarists, it also has a built-in tuner and a metronome. For musicians everywhere, be a guitarist, a singer, a keyboard player, the Tascam DP006 lets you record live anywhere and anytime. You can see how big the thing is, something that would fit very small into a bag, or even in your guitar case. The internal mics are remarkably good quality. It makes it very easy to set up recording wherever you happen to be. It makes for a very clean, brilliant sound. For we photographers who also play music, this, also, this unit, as I mentioned, does have a tripod screw on the, on the bottom. So uh, you could put it on a, something like a light stand like I have right here. Uh, you can also get the Tascam accessory kit, which has a handle. You can screw the handle into the bottom of that, and then that will connect right to a microphone stand. Now I'm gonna use headphones. I'm gonna plug the headphones into the side of the unit. What that allows me to do is to hear the instruments playing right through the headphones, and I can adjust the levels and the pan left or right, right from the unit as I'm listening to it. So let me go ahead and plug that in. And let me make sure the volume's up high enough. So I'm gonna put my headphones on. And I'm going to record two quick tracks as soon as I find where I drop my pick. Pick. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fool a little around a little bit with the, oh, just a little intro to George Harrison's While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And I'm just going to play a basic intro. I'll let that record. And then I'll have it play back through the unit as I'm recording a little solo line on another track. And I'm going to use a different guitar for that. This is a steel string. I have a nylon sitting right next to me here that has a very different tone, different timbre, so I'll let that go as well. So the, what I do is I just simply push in the record button, and now I can hear everything I'm saying, as well as what the guitar is doing right from here. When I'm ready to record, I hit record, play. It's now recording. It's okay to have a little bit dead time. I can then set an in and out point later. So I would just start playing. Now I already did this for you, but basically I'm gonna do something like this.
Okay, so something like that is what I'm going to do for my rhythm section, for the background section. So I will hit stop there. Now I'm going to switch over to another track. I simply hit, now I'm going to record on track four. I'll bring up the uh, nylon string. And now when I hit record and play again, it'll start playing back the part that I just played. So I hold in record, hit play, and I'll wait. And I'm just going to start kind of right as it goes. So here we go. Just something simple. And you can always keep adding on. You can always redo it. So let me hit stop on that. And I'll turn off the recording for the track four. I can then back up, back up there, hit the play button, and it will play for me what it is that I just recorded. And there it goes. Very cool. And as it's playing back, I can adjust the pan left and right of each of the tracks. So if I decide I want my solo on the left and the rhythm on the right, I can do that. I can also adjust the volume of each of the tracks individually. Good. Once I have that, I can rewind it. I can then set in and out points, so which will cut off the, the dead time at the beginning. Click on my end, save that, and then export it as a WAV file, which I can bring to the computer. Very cool. So really, I just started playing with this thing. Uh, just today, really took it out of the box and put it to use. And once again, I'm showing you a piece of gear that's gonna cost me money to show you because as soon as I started playing with this, and as soon as I heard what came out of it, particularly out of these uh, internal mics, blown away, and I have to have one because this is very cool. I haven't been able to record acoustic instruments really well for some time. So I can gr get my grab bag of instruments that we have around the house. My wife calls it our instrument petting zoo. And just start playing and start overlaying stuff. And it's really fun. Oh, and by the way, would you believe this thing is under $130? So if you're a musician, you don't have to be a pro. You can hear from my guitar playing. I'm not a professional musician. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to layer those tracks and hear what you can come up with for a very little bit amount of money. So the Tascam DP006 Portable Multi-Track Digital Recorder.